Good morning, happy Sunday, welcome to Kona. So we are a couple of miles outside of Kona, Kona is just there, so just down the hill. Um, we're in a, little, well, a nice little lodge, it's like we've slept in a rainforest, um, we're probably up half the night, body clock's all over the place, but um, it's about half past eight now, we're going to get unpacked, get a little food shop done and then um, start exploring, so here we go. <laughs> Just doing a little food shop in Safeway. Um, hit the jackpot, or vegan jackpot. Got some chocolate almond milk. Problem that everything else is massive and fatty in America. So it's very normal. How fun, Liz? Very fun. Love being inside food shopping when it's gorgeous sunshine outside. Ah, we're nearly done. <laughs> then we'll be outside. Yeah, only, that, only that it's too hot. It wasn't too stressful, was it? <laughs> uh, we've only got a few bits, haven't we? Yeah. Yeah. Hello. We've come down to. Swim start, so sort of like the centre of centre of Kona. Uh, there's a lot going off. The race village isn't up yet, but there is a little Ironman stall. But Liz is restraining herself. She's waiting till later in the week to get herself an Ironman T-shirt. Can't wait. <laughs> the sea looks awesome, doesn't it, Liz? Very blue. You think about jumping in on a little swim? Oh, tempted. <laughs> I think we're gonna have a little paddle later on. This is the swim course here. You see plenty of people swimming up and down. It goes oh, right the there. way up there. Um, there's a few kayakers around, so I'm not sure if some people have like support to be able to go and. Go and, si uh, go and swim out, well, I don't know. Pretty choppy. It's not choppy. It is, that's the sound of the waves. Uh, <laughs> tell them that I did Wales this year, that's choppy. Um, it's bloody hot, it isn't is. it? It's scorchy. Yeah, scorchy out. So we're going to have a walk around the town and um, see it's what we can lunch. see. It's a lunch, yeah. Oh, it's always about food, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's always about food, you're right. We're going to get some lunch. I managed to leave my GoPro waterproof case at home, which is really annoying. But uh, we looked at a couple of shops this morning. Uh, cases are really expensive for those that do have it, so we're going to buy a new GoPro instead, don't we, Liz? Yeah. yeah. This GoPro 7s are already waterproof, so stand by for some underwater footage of me thrashing around. Hopefully not getting eaten by a shark. This place is incredible. I would be honoured. <laughs> Bob, you're on my YouTube channel, Sam Triathlon, down on YouTube. Oh, uh, yes. Not got quite as many followers as yourself. Um, I've got about 70. So, Way to go. Um, early days, yeah. I'm still working at the minute, but one day I'll, I'll jack it in for that. I, I love that. So, yeah. got I big, love that. Big week plan. We do. We yeah. start tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock over at Huggles on the Rocks. You're more than welcome to join us. Okay. We've got, uh, yeah. tomorrow we'll have Javier Gomez, oh, okay. we have Lionel Sanders. I think I've heard of them. Yeah, yeah. 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 The first ever winner, <laughs> Gordon Haller's coming oh, on okay. to start the day. Yeah. Plus, uh, Dave Orlowski took third that first year wow. wearing jean shorts okay. and riding a, a Schwinn a, a Schwin Easy Spirit bike. I see. So those guys will kick off tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock. Wow. And then the rest of the day is, I think we have 15 guests, yeah. Andrew Starkowitz and Javi and uh, uh, Sebastian Keenley, it's yeah. going to be crazy. Yeah. But more importantly, mm -hmm. will you be there to have I breakfast? Will be. 8 a.m. That's quite a challenge for me. Is okay. it um, early? We'll, we'll <laughs> there until noon. So <laughs> sometime between eight and noon, okay. you can probably swing by. Awesome. And then I take it going on the rest of the week as well. All every day, eight o'clock, yeah. we get started. Awesome. And well, you enjoying it? Is this your first absolutely. time here? Yep, first time here, first day here. We got here last night, so we're it's adjusting the best. our bodies to it. And, and where, do you, where do you live? In the UK. In the UK, yeah. perfect. Yeah. So it's just like this in the UK right now. Absolutely, yeah, exactly the same. Well conditioned. So you're in perfect shape for 80, 90 degrees, 90% yeah, exactly. humidity, no rain, yeah, no exactly. cold. Yeah, exactly that. UK athletes are the yeah. toughest around because uh, the conditions yeah, you guys yeah. train with. Yeah, well, it's not easy, but... Um, no. You're well, going to have a great time. Absolutely, Rory. Thank you, Tom. A I'll pleasure. You. I'll I'll thank you. I love it. Right. Thanks. Thanks. Take care. Well, thanks to Bob Bavitt, whatever his name is, um, <laughs> from Breakfast with Bob. God, I'm a gibbering mess during that. God help me if I come across any of the pro triathletes. I'm going to be... Uh, well, useless. Um, yeah, we might go down to that one more this week, do you think? Maybe, yeah. Okay, Liz isn't coming then by the sounds of that, but... Um, <laughs> I want even listen. He interviews pro triathletes. Oh, right. Okay. I'll make you watch the videos tonight now. <laughs> Try, Si, this one's for you. Gone for the salad. <laughs> <laughs> With loads of, loads of dressing on. What's for dessert? Probably That's an ice cream. cream. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It's going well, carb loaded. I've got a veggie burger and chips. I've just spotted Tri Sai in the, in, in the sea. He's down there, look. On a fish. Oh, on a fish, are there, look. Oh, yeah. Wow. Good, aren't they? I think we may have found our swim uh, viewing point. It's bloody awesome, isn't it? What are you doing up there? Um, so swim course goes there and around back. 
Yeah, over there. So this is the race village, and it's not really up and running yet. There's like the unpacking things. Hoka only over there. I'll have a walk around there in a minute. Uh, and then the rest of this village over here. Yeah, it's just, it's just not quite there yet, is it? But um, it's getting exciting. I think the actual village opens on Tuesday, so look forward to that. What are you going to treat yourself to? <laughs> Liz wanted a t-shirt, I'm on UK, but I told her no, we need to wait until we go to Kona. So she's been waiting for about three months now, <laughs> so um, I can't really say no now. So Daniel's gone to have a little swim, the swim part of the course. If you can see over there, it's probably the one that stands out as being the palest person in the water. <laughs> in a wave. <laughs> there he goes. How was that? <laughs> Somebody said to me, Are you Josh Hamburger? Do you know Josh Hamburger is? <laughs> no. about this oh. Yeah, it's alright. Um, it's nice and calm here, but when we turn right, when you were saying, oh, it looks choppy, and I was saying, no, it's not. It is. Yeah. yeah it was just like big swells. So you, you go to do one stroke and you'd be like, oh, where's the water gone? It's back there, but it wasn't not too bad. There's a few people out there, so. Nice little, Good. Nice little swim. Nice to have a about 500 meters in about 10 or 11 minutes. So. Well done. Can I say I've been on the swim course with all champs? Yeah, you've checked the box. <laughs> nice one. Right, well, we'll stop it there then. We don't want to see you getting changed, do we? <laughs> I'm going for a paddle now. Oh, yeah. Okay. Paddling time. Woo! Liz, how does it feel to be nearly on the Ironman swim course? Oh, brilliant. It's about <laughs> mid calf deep. You get a feel for the temperature. Do you think the swim skin is necessary? Or? Yeah. Alright, oh, okay. Easy apparently. Alright, come on, let's have a splash around. Um, Liz, what's going on? I'm not quite sure. Oh. There's people being clapped walking across the lawn. I think these women have seen uh, me and my swimmers. <laughs> need to form a queue, what do you reckon? Um, I don't know, this looks quite, this looks quite cultural and we don't quite understand it. We'll just stand around and take pictures like everybody else's. Okay, I thought I'd just give you a quick run through of where we are. So, this is the high car we've got. I initially ordered like a compact or Focus or something, but got upgraded to a Jeep, which is a good job because I couldn't fit the bike box or anything else. So, um, this thing sups fuel. We've done a, probably done about 30 or 40 miles just nipping around town, but it's averaged 13 miles to the gallon, one three. So, that's not great. Um, so, this is the grounds that we're doing the accommodations in. So, it's just like a condo, so this looks absolutely awesome. Um, the hostess is lovely, she gave us a good overview of what's in the local area and what, um, what's in the accommodation, so I'll give you a little tour. A little outside seating area, we had breakfast outside here this morning, that was lovely. Uh, so it's quite open plan inside, so it's a bit dark isn't it? Yeah. Um, it's a living room, entertainment area, um, there's a washing machine and drying machine in there, don't think I'll be using those kitchen area, all the cooking things we could dream of, um, also bed, that thing looks awesome, it's a big like walk-in shower, wet room, it's brilliant, and there's actually an outside shower as well which has been plumbed up to hot water so that looks brilliant, oh, our baby's just tucked away in here in the box, I'll probably get her out later on tonight. What do we hear all night, Liz, when we're trying to sleep? Frogs. Frogs. We've seen a big sign saying <laughs> frog area. From 3.30am, cockerel. Cockerel <laughs> this morning. So Liz has got chickens and um, she dreams of a cockerel as well to complete her set. But um, that's put you off, I think, hasn't it? <laughs> Bloody thing, cockadoodling. So yeah, this is absolutely awesome so far. I definitely recommend it if you're, if you're a couple. There's only a space of two people and you um, can't bring children here. And you'll be 25, aren't you? Yeah, 25. Something like that. So, um, if you're more mature than we are, then you can you can rent this place out. So it looks so wicked. Yeah, we're only just allowed. Yeah, <laughs> only just allowed, aren't we? Um, 
so yeah, awesome so far. I think we're going to go for a little walk after tea, just to explore around here. Apparently there's some nice little footpaths around here. Maybe a little run if I can convince Liz. Um, and then we're going to be planning tomorrow, which we've sort of planned already, but we're just going to get the final piece in, in, in play. So stick around if you, if you like the content. Thank you for hanging on with us. I know my, my summer was quite boring, but this is a lot better. See you soon.